I have been talking about this puzzle for years. So today I'm going to finally start the solid yellow flat banana puzzle. So many just solid yellow pieces. 500 of them actually. <laughs> This puzzle was released by Springbok in 1979, and this is the picture that's on the puzzle. So it's actually not entirely solid yellow. We do have these pieces with the Dole Bananas logo on them, but besides that, every single other piece is in fact solid yellow. This is a random cut puzzle, so we do have some that look fairly standard, but then some totally wacky looking shapes. And that's actually good because think about it, when you do a jigsaw puzzle, there's really only two components to give you clues to how the pieces go together. Obviously there's the picture that's on the pieces, but the only other thing you have to go off of is the piece shape. So the fact that these pieces are so unique and interesting, I think will actually make this a little easier than if they were all, you know, very similar to each other. So I've done enough Springbok puzzles by now that I have a general idea of how I'm gonna sort these pieces. But before I get to that, how about a little word from our sponsor? So the reason why I'm here in my bed is because today's video is sponsored by the app Luna. Luna is the perfect thing to help you fall asleep at night. So let me tell you all about it. If you find yourself being too stressed out to sleep, Luna can really help you calm your mind down. It's almost like a combination between a jigsaw puzzle and a guided meditation. So the way it works is you choose what they call a sleepscape and a narrator with a really calming voice just walks you through a story and along the way you're guided to tap parts of the image to color them in. So just like doing a puzzle, it is so satisfying to see the landscape fill up with color. Each sleepscape takes about 15 to 25 minutes, and trust me, by the end, you will be falling asleep. <laughs> They also have playlists of really relaxing music and the whole thing is just really well designed to be such a calm, serene experience. So if you want to try it out, you can scan this QR code for a free seven day trial. And I'll also have all of the information down in the description. So thank you again to Luna for sponsoring today's video and now, Let's sort all of those yellow puzzle pieces. Oh man, so it's been about a half hour. I have everything sorted. And with every single piece that I sorted, I just kept getting flashbacks to the Prismagic puzzles by Springbok. Those are probably the most similar puzzles that I've done to this one because again, they don't have a picture, but they did have that geometric pattern over the front. So there was a little bit of a visual hint that you could look for. Whereas with this, the pieces are entirely solid colored and I'm just like, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> so obviously the first thing I have to put together is the Dole Bananas logo and then also this little copyright down here. This pile of pieces are all edge pieces. Well, probably. I mean, there are some like false edges in this puzzle, but I think pretty long edges like this, we can be pretty sure that those are definitely edge pieces. Up here, we have the random shapes down here. 
I mean, I don't really know how to describe these, just these little shapes that all are similar to each other. There we have the four ins, then we have a lot of standard pieces down here. Up here we have uh, this shape and that shape and the castles. I definitely think I'm gonna take this one a bit slow. I'm only starting to film this in the afternoon, so I think I'm gonna try to get the logo and most of the edge done today, and then maybe I'll wait a day until I start working on the middle. I don't know, we'll see. Let's just start working on it and see how this goes. Well, that was a little under an hour, and I actually think this might be the first Springbok puzzle I've ever done where I found all of the edge pieces in my first pass. Honestly, the edge wasn't as difficult as I thought. It went together pretty easily, but now I'm just looking at how many pieces there are that I have to look through for every single spot on the board, and I just can't do this today. <laughs> But we've made good progress. We're doing fine. We're, we're doing fine. Keeping our spirits up, but we're doing fine. You guys, I have been lied to, and in turn, I have lied to all of you. This is, in fact, not a solid colored puzzle. It is a very, 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 very subtle gradient puzzle. I know, I have never felt so betrayed by a puzzle. So I worked on this for about three hours yesterday, and this is as far as I got, which honestly is more than I was expecting for only three hours. But I realized that the pieces up here at the top are actually a little bit darker and more saturated than the pieces down here at the bottom. I have no idea if this is gonna pick up on camera at all, but you can, I mean, hopefully see that the colors, like these yellows, aren't quite the same. This one has a little bit more red in it. This one is more of a true yellow. And so, towards the end of those three hours, you might have seen in the time lapse, I got a whole bunch of here up at the top put in like really quickly. And that's because I would literally just scan all the pieces I had left for the darkest pieces I could find, like maybe this one. And then I would just come up here and try it in all the different places. And 
you know, a lot of them ended up fitting. So that's one reason why I think this is a little easier than I was expecting, but there's a second reason too. So if we take a look back at the Prismagic puzzle, you might remember that it had a lot of pieces like this where the pieces are split in half right over the prong here. And that definitely makes it tricky to figure out like what type of piece you're looking for because this is not immediately what would come to mind. Whereas on this puzzle, there's hardly any pieces like that. Like there's two of them here. There might be a couple that have, you know, sections like that up here, but really not a ton. And also these are the only true random pieces and it's a much smaller percentage than other Springbok puzzles I've done. Like, look at all of these pieces. These are all fairly standard, so whatever piece you think you're looking for, there's a much higher probability that it is going to be shaped like what you're looking for. So it's only about 9.45 right now. I have all day to work on this, and I really think I might finish it today. Okay, so it's been two hours and I think it's looking really good. I got a lot in, you know, this section filled in. You can see all of these floating pieces are where we have these um, like double ins and outs. So I managed to match a lot of those together. This piece right here is driving me crazy. I feel like I have tried every single piece or you know anything that looks vaguely like it and <laughs> nothing has fit in there quite yet. I got this puzzle so long ago off of eBay that I really don't remember if it's meant to be missing any pieces or not so you know we'll just have to find out. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be just one more like big push and then once I have only like a quarter of the puzzle left, there will be few enough pieces that will go in super quickly. So I'm almost there. I'm probably like half of the way done now. So I just need to get another like quarter of the puzzle finished. Oh man, so it's been about three and a half hours and check this out, I'm almost done. I'm definitely at the point now where pieces are going in much more quickly. So if I wanted to, I'm sure I could finish it in like the next 20 minutes. Also, I'm sure that these probably connect somewhere and I've been looking all over for where they connect. I just cannot figure it out. But that was a very long day of puzzling. I feel like 
All I've seen today is the color yellow, so I need to go look at other things for a while. And I don't want to be like totally exhausted when I finish this, because this is the most fun part of a puzzle like this. So I'm going to do this part fresh in the morning. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Oh man, what a fun puzzle. I like genuinely loved this one. Oh, I'm so excited. Today's the day that I'm gonna finish the solid yellow puzzle. Not much left. I really think it's only gonna be maybe 20 more minutes. number four, piece number three, piece number two, the very last piece, piece number one. I did it. I can't believe I finished the solid yellow flat banana puzzle. <laughs> oh, let me check the time. Oh my gosh, literally to the minute that took me 19 minutes, essentially 20 minutes. That's literally what I just said. And check this out. These old Springbok puzzles are so solid. You can like, th ah, ah. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> well, if you don't have a camera in the way, <laughs> you can throw them around and like literally nothing happens. I swear they don't make puzzles like this anymore. These old Springbok puzzles are a class of their own. <laughs> So my final time, 10 hours and 25 minutes, which honestly for a solid colored puzzle, that's really good. Like the Prismagic puzzle, didn't that take me, what, 17 hours? You might even say this puzzle did not drive me bananas. <laughs> So I do want to address again whether this is or isn't actually a solid colored puzzle now that I can see the whole thing at once. I actually think there might be a little bit of a vignette going around the border, but the colors are so similar to each other that it's really hard to tell. And also there are a handful of pieces that are directly next to each other and the colors seem like they're just slightly different but again it's so similar that i keep like second guessing myself also my puzzle does have a few spots where the yellow is starting to wear off so i'm also just wondering like maybe some of the pieces in mine are just a little faded so i don't know if you've ever done this puzzle 
Um, did you think it was a solid color or did you notice any kind of gradient? And then I also just wanted to show you the box really quick because I realized I never did that in the video. If you were to buy this new, um, there would have been this really cute sticker on the front. Unfortunately, I think most of those are probably long gone. And then on the back of the box, instead of a poem like other Springbok puzzles, it's actually this cartoon, A Warped History of Flat Bananas. So you can pause the video if you want to read the whole thing. Leonardo da Vinci paints the Banana Lisa on a flat canvas. <laughs> Honestly, this is the most boomer humor thing I have ever seen. And then finally, I just want to clarify that in making this video, I'm not trying to promote the Dole Bananas company. Um, I looked into them, I Googled them, and of course there have been so many controversies surrounding this company, so many human rights violations. Obviously by now this puzzle is very vintage, so this is just the logo that happens to be on the puzzle. Um, you know, if you got a secondhand copy of this puzzle, obviously you would not be supporting that company anymore. But here's a question for the comments. What other companies would you like to see release puzzles like this, where it's their signature color and just their logo. Like I was thinking maybe green for Starbucks or blue for Tiffany's or bright pink for Lyft. Who do I need to talk to to get all of those puzzles made? <laughs> so your code word for the comments will be yellow. Happy puzzling and I'm gonna go look at some other colors now.